I am Flash Isaac, and today I shall be taking you through Jam Likely Mathematics Questions Part 3. I've released the part 1 and I've released the part 2. So, this is part 3 of the video. I will share links to the part 1 and part 2 in case you missed out of that. I promise to make this class as simple as possible and as detailed as possible. So, I shall be making use of the Flash Learners Jam CBT application. The Flatness Jam app is the best and the most advanced application to pass Jam. It contains thousands of Jam questions, calculators, question sets, ability to choose uh, subjects, topics. Then you can watch my videos directly from the app. So the app is a must-have for every Jam candidate. T subject formula. And where is T? This is T hidden inside here. And if I ask you, what is already the subject formula? It is simply P is the subject formula. So we are asked to change the subject formula from P to T. How do you do that? This is it. Here is P and everything here is raised to the power of 1 over 3. That is the first thing. We try to remove all the distractions until we get to what you want. The first distraction we shall be removing is raised to the power of 1 over 3. If I say a raised to the power of 1 over 3, this is the same thing as the cube root of a. So how do we remove 1 over 3? What if we multiply here by 3? We we'll simply get a raised to the power of 1 over 3 times 3, which is 3 over 3. a raised to the power of 3 over 3, which is a raised to the power of 1. Let's multiply both sides by a raised to the power of 3. So here is p to the power of 3 is equals q arrow minus t over 15 times 1 over 3 times 3. So in this case, 1 over 3 times 3 is 1. So we've eliminated this or we simplified it. We now have p to the power of 3 is equals q arrow minus t over 15. What is? Since we don't have the power of something, we can simply clean here so that it becomes clearer. Take note that if A is standing alone, it is the same thing as over A, which means P to the power of 3 is the same thing as P to the power of 3 over 1. What should we do next? Let us cross multiply which means this times this to be equals this times this. Now, p raised to the power of 3 times 15 is equals 1 times q arrow minus t. This will give you 15p raised to the power of 3 is equals q arrow minus t. Remember, the aim is to keep removing distractions until we get to what we want. Yeah, what is the distraction to t? It is q. Now let's remove q next because arrow is also a distraction. We start removing the surface, surface until we get to the deep. Dividing both sides by q, this q will simply cancel this q. We are left with 15 p to the power of 3 over q is equals arrow minus t. So now we are close. This is minus arrow, right? So to do a smart work, we simply bring it to this side to become positive. And we take everything here to the other side to become negative. To have something like t is equals arrow is already here. This becomes minus. So minus 15 t to the power of 3 over q. Remember, the division is only affecting here. Arrow is already alone. So we made T subject formula. Look at this question. It says if Y is equals S sine S, find the Y over the S. What is this? This is simply Y is equals S times sine S. And in calculus, in differentiation, when you are multiplying what do we use 
we use multiplication rule and that is called product rule product rule states that the y over the s which means differentiating y with respect to s is equals u dv over the s plus v du over the s that is product rule let let's say let s be let u be s let v be sine s if this is true because we have s and sine s and u and v are used in the formula so let's assume s to be u and let's v be sine s in that case dv ds is simply differentiation of v so dv ds is equals when you differentiate sine s you get cos s how about du ds du over ds is simply differentiation of u with respect to s and when you differentiate s you get one with this we have everything we need we simply substitute that is product rule for you dy over the s is equals u s times dv ds dv ds is cos s so cos s plus v v is sin s sin s times du ds du ds is one so times one dy ds is simply s cos s plus sin s so that is what you get when you differentiate s sin s you simply have s cos s plus sin s or sin s plus s cos s they are the same so option a is the correct option and the next question says if the mean of five consecutive integers is 30 Find the largest of the numbers. Talking about consecutive, consecutive integers, it simply means integers or values increasing by one. Let's call the first one s. If the first one is, the next one will be s plus one. The next one will be s plus two. The next one will be s plus two plus one. So be s plus three. The next one will be s plus three plus one. That is s plus four. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five consecutive integers, integers increasing by one. The difference between them is one. We are told that the mean of the five is 30. What is mean? Mean s bar is equal to summation of s over n. Now look at this. We are given the mean to be 30, right? So 30 is equal to summing everything. You have s plus s plus one plus s plus two plus s plus 3 plus s plus 4 all over n is 5 why 5? because we have 5 numbers now adding the s you have everything here you have um, 5s plus 10 over 5 s plus s plus s plus s is 5s 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 so that is how we arrive here so which means 5s plus 10 is equals 30 times 5. 5s is simply equals 30 times 5 is 150 minus 10. 5s is equals 140. So s is equals 28, which is 140 over 5. Now, don't just rush and say 28 is the answer. Option B is not the answer. This is the first number. We are asked to look for the largest number. So the largest number will simply be when s is plus 4. So since s is 28, largest one will be 28 plus 4. That is uh, 32, I guess. So 32 is the largest number. If you are told to look for the smallest number, smallest number is 28. If you are told to list out all the numbers, it will simply be 28, 29, 30, 31. Consecutive numbers increasing by 1. The middle number is 30. If you are asked to look for the median, if you are asked to look for some of the numbers, it is 28 plus 29 plus 30 plus 31 plus 32. We have to look for the determinant of this matrix. How do we do that? Let here be plus, let here be minus, and let here be plus. Now look at something. If you pick here, plus 1, draw something like this. Do something like this. Arrow up, arrow down. What will remain? You simply be left with 5 minus 1, 2, and 0. The next thing is minus. 
minus what is here three three so if you are in this minus three if you draw a straight line down and you draw another one like this what will be left four minus one minus three and zero will be left uncrossed so this gives you four minus one minus three and zero what next plus two plus two now we are in plus two let's draw lines if you cross here you have something like this if you cross here down you have something like this what is left four five minus three and two so you have four five minus three and two like this so with this food is ready we successfully converted the three by three matrices to two by two matrices. what next we solve the two by two matrices this is plus one to solve two by two matrices, it is simply this times this minus this and this like i showed you earlier so five times zero is zero zero minus two times minus one is minus two so minus two minus three three four times zero is zero so zero minus three times minus one that is plus three so minus plus three this minus is from the formula this times this minus this times this now we have plus two four times two eight minus minus three times five minus fifteen so with this we simplify to have plus one zero minus minus two this is simply zero plus two two minus three zero minus plus three is minus three plus two eight minus minus fifteen minus times minus is plus so this is equivalent to eight plus fifteen and eight plus fifteen is that 23 yes 23 so this is 23 now take a look at that what next you simply have 1 times 2 is 2 minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 plus 2 times 23 that is 46 so from here we have 11 plus 46 46 11 7 5 so is that 57 yes so that is the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix and this next question i love questions like this if 2 s squared plus s minus 3 divides s minus 2 find the remainder to find the remainder we simply do what is referred to as long division if before now you have problems with long division then pay attention to this class to do long division this will simply be here so this is dividing it s minus 2 now we are dividing the most important ones are this one and this one so you say this one divided by this one to so simply have 2s squared over s this is what to do in any polynomial 2s squared over s this will simply give you 2s because 1s cancels 1 remaining 2s you simply put the 2s here use the first one to divide the first one this is what to do in any long division now having gotten an answer use the answer to multiply everything here therefore 2s times s is 2s squared 2s times minus 2 that is minus 4s then you cross put minus here this minus this 2s squared minus 2s squared is 0 s minus minus 4s look at it s minus minus 4s this is s plus 4s that is 5s so this is plus 5s yeah there is no constant so the same thing as plus 0 meaning we have minus 3 minus 0 minus 3 minus 0 it is minus 3 so here is minus 3 this is gone since the degrees are still the same there is s here there is s here we continue the same step what is the step this divided by this so 5s 
over s is equal to 5. So, plus 5. Same step, use plus 5 to multiply everything here and put the answer on that. To have 5 times s, 5s, 5 times minus 2, minus 10. Subtract. 5s minus 5s is 0. Minus 3, minus, minus 10. This is minus 3 plus 10. And that is plus 7. So this is 0. So we have a constant value here. This is the remainder. Y is equals 8s to the power of 3 minus 3s squared plus 7s minus 1. We are asked to find d squared y over ds squared, which means find the second derivative. This is under higher derivative. If you are saying find dy ds, that is the first derivative. d squared y over ds squared, second derivative. This d cube y over ds cube, third derivative. This one simply means differentiate two times. That is what we are talking about. So, not for the first differentiation, dy over ds is equals 8 times 3 is 24 s, subtracting one from the power 2 minus 3 times 2 6 s, 1 minus the power, or the power minus 1, we are left with 1 plus when you differentiate 7 s, you get 7 minus 0. When you differentiate constant, you get 0. That is how to differentiate. Differentiating second time over the s square, you simply have 2 times 24, that is 48 s minus, when you differentiate 6 s, you get 6. And when you differentiate constant, you get 0. So let's see if there is something like this in the option, 48 s minus 6. So option D is the correct option. This brings us to the end of the class. I am Flash Isaac, and don't forget to check out my other videos for amazing topics and amazing lessons. So tell your friends about this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.